I'm Matt from River Drive Cooperage and Millwork, and today we're going to go over our five-step barrel inspection process. Step one of our barrel inspection process is our exterior barrel inspection. And this is where we just really want to get a good look of the outside of the barrel and make sure everything's there, make sure there's no holes or cracks, and nothing's missing. We're going to make sure that the bands, and in this typical bourbon barrel we have six of them, so we're going to make sure that our head hoop, our quarter hoop, and our bilge hoop are all present and tight. If you can move these uh, bands or hoops by hand, then they're extremely, extremely loose. Um, but also, even with a typical hammer, I'm gonna use the back end of it here, and I'm gonna just give that a really little knock, light knock, and make sure that those are nice and snug. The easy way to figure this out is to just flip it right over from end to end, end, to end and if no bands fall off, it's nice and tight. On the topic of the bands, we also want to make sure that they line up with the bung stave. And for no other reason, this is really just the proper way to cooper a barrel. It's professional, it looks good, and it's how it should be done. And in most cases, it's how it is done. But if for some reason one of these bands is off and slid and the, and the, band, the rivets are over here, um, I mean, all these bands can be spun around every which direction, and the rivets can be all over the place. And the reality is, as long as they're tight, the barrel is still probably going to work just fine. But it raises a little bit of a red flag with us as to why was that barrel not properly put together or put back together? Um, did they not know what they were doing? Is there, what's the reason? Um, and that could possibly lead into other questions down the road as to the integrity and the quality of that barrel. Also in talking about the rivets on the, the bands of this barrel, sometimes they'll come with initials of the location of the cooperage or the cooperage that, that made them. Um, this one is KY. Um, so this one came out of Kentucky. And we're gonna notice that every single band matches. Every single band on here has those KY initials on it. So there's all sorts of different initials out there from different manufacturers and different plants. But we wanna make sure that they all match. And again, for no other reason than just making sure that this is a good solid barrel and nothing happened to it in the past. So if one of these initials was KY, uh, the next band was blank, the next band had some other initials on it. Again, if they're tight, will the barrel work? Yeah, it's probably going to be just fine, but it's still going to raise those questions as to what happened previously in this barrel that uh, it has other people's bands on it. The heads of these barrels, as we know from our anatomy videos, are made up of many different boards and they're held together either with tongue and groove or doweled. So on our barrel inspection, we're gonna to wanna to make sure that the boards of the barrel are all going perpendicular to the bung stave. Again, this is just the proper way to cooper a barrel. Um, now, there are some people that intentionally put their heads on sideways, but generally, if a head is crooked or, or really off, is the barrel still gonna work? probably, uh, but still it's just another thing to raise questions as to why was that head messed with in the first place or why wasn't it put on properly. With the head, we talk about our crows in the anatomy video and that's where this head locks into the barrel and there's going to be a bevel all around it and I'm actually just going to rub my finger really briefly right around here and make sure that I don't feel any shifting of the staves in the head. We mentioned how the tongue and grooved heads, if they get knocked really hard on one side, whether they fall out of the back of a truck, fall off a rack, get hit by a forklift, you can actually shift that head. And that's gonna create a pretty sharp lip on the edge of the bevel. And that's something we'll be able to notice right off the bat. That type of damage is gonna be a guaranteed leak and it's not something that's just gonna swell up over time. It's gonna need to be actually fixed the right way or plugged very well. Lastly, when we receive a barrel, we wanna make sure that it's got a bung in it, it's sealed, and that's gonna keep the freshness in and anything, dust, air, critters, out, and make sure that you get yourself a real nice, good quality barrel.